got to get out of here, understand? And I'll kill anyone who gets in my way, you included. Need a smoke. Where'd you stash yours? Hmm. Interesting. Don't smoke. Then go out and get some. Just need one last one. Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ, man. The fuck kind of joy toy are you supposed to be? Fucking ghost off! That's crazy. Who you work for? Start talking! Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Fucking chip. Rip the thing out myself. No, wait. Ugh. I'll take control. Whoa, what a trip, eh? I'll find a way. Beating you his head me? up against the wall. Wow, what a. S <laughs> okay, this took a turn for something I did not expect. Not whatsoever. <laughs> See you never, asshole. Not like that. Stick some iron in your mouth and pull the trigger. Oh man. I can feel it. Our minds touch on you. I'm like I'm mold like on fruit, fruit creeping into you. Nothing I can do about it. You hear me? I'd puke if I fucking could. It's just a copy of the engram. I'm out there somewhere. Gotta be. Oh, nice. Here, yeah, take some meds. <laughs> oh, fuck me. No kidding, right? Oh, man. Wow. What an intro. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Berto Guy here, and welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. My God. Wow. What a trip, eh? What a bloody trip. I'm telling you, this game is taking me for a loophole. I was not expecting any of that to happen. Alright, so, wow. Totally wow. We're gonna, like, pretty much all do everything all over again. <laughs> I'd like to inform me of what? Inform me that Mr. Wells' his body's been delivered to Victor. Finish your instructions? Yeah, okay, that's good. Because that happened, like, a while ago. So that's good, that's good. Alright, so let's have a little look around my apartment and see what happens. See if there's anything that I can do here. There we go. Takemura here. Hello. We must meet. Come to Thomas Diner. Alright, alright. Hmm. Why would I do that? Because I am the one who saved your life. I haven't managed to get my head straight yet. Not after everything that happened. That Save will not my life. happen anytime soon. I don't and think so I want to have my life saved after If you that. intend to leave, you must re enter the ring. The bell has already told. Thomas Diner, I am waiting. Interesting. Looks like we're going to the diner, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Let's go shit, check not good. Why do I got my gun out all of a sudden? Uh -huh. You know my price. <laughs> no discounts. Alright, all right, let's put that away. I don't know why. That's 
That's pretty cool. All right, let's get to that diner. NCPD, open up. Barry, we know you're in there. We're here to help. Don't got no fucking warrant. Cut the bullshit. Just open up. We came here as colleagues, nothing else. Haven't heard from you in a while. We're worried. No, now leave me alone. Congrats, Mendez. Way to be a prick. Oh, <sighs> what? So I'm the Are bad guy? Stupid. I'm not the one who's holed up playing the attention whore. He lost a friend. Can you blame him? He's not the first or the last. It's called life. Someone in this tower go cuckoo again? This is a private matter, so just move along. Wait, <laughs> he might know Barry. Is there anything I can do? Maybe. You know Barry at all? More or less. Uh, Struck hey, up a combo once or twice. He's a friend from the precinct. Left the force not long ago. He broke down after his best friend died. We're worried he'll do something stupid. Relax, patrol. Barry's got nerves of steel. He's just a spiteful old bastard. Mendez! Could you check on him when he's chilled down? Sure, why not? Sure. It's not like we're miles apart. Thanks. Just be patient. Cops falling in rough times can be touchy. Let's see what I can do. All right, so these cops here seem to have a friend here. here. So we'll have to go check that out uh, every once in a while, I guess, maybe when we're back. But uh, let's go find out where we need to go here. I can't. Yeah, it's buddy sparring robot. Hey, it's easy. Yeah. Seen you in a good one, two, few weeks. <laughs> I figured you'd skip town. No, 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 no. Just trouble, usual stuff. Ah, ah. In need of iron and lead, then, I take it? Sure, let me Show see what you got. B. Been a long time since you called. Since Jackie passed away. I wanted to call you before, Mom. You know how it is. You had other important things on your mind. Maybe that. What's the matter? Um, just wanted to explain why I didn't. You know. It's okay, me. You don't need to. I know how things are. I was with Jackie when he. B, listen. This is the path my son chose. He knew what he signed up for. If he could have been saved, you would have done it. I know. I suppose you still do what you... What you did before. Just promise me you won't get yourself killed, okay? May he watch over you, mijo. Awesome, so she has no idea. <laughs> Alright, so we have to go meet Buddy here. Uh... What's this? Oh, uh, another message from her. Let's go sit down. Get away. Uh, the fixer just sent you an offer to buy a vehicle. Oh, that's cool. Uh, let's sit. sit down. You do not oh, look so pizza. bad. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. What do you what actually you want? want from me? I want your pizza. To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn, what's she to you? She and Yorino Barasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. You're thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. <laughs> Just mm. answered your own question about where Evelyn is. Long gone. Why do you believe she could help you remove the chip? Does a corporation help her? Mm. 
Suspect so, yeah. Evelyn was knowledgeable about the relic. Had a large chunk of classified info. An enigma, to be sure. But she showed that slyness he getting corpo agents. You know the kind. I do mm -hmm. possess this slyness you speak of. You got tossed <laughs> out, lumped with the outcasts, easily. Or have you forgotten? <sighs> Sorry I couldn't be of any help. Don't have any time to lose, so... Hey, wait. I need you. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice in Night City. <laughs> I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am mm. hunted. Awesome. So, so what? We're gonna team we up stroll together, into Arasaka I guess, huh? HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. <laughs> in that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. Good point. Achim, the relic is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. That's true. That's very, very true. I'll agree to that. All right. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prepped for the heist. Thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. And true. He's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka. Betrayed it. Where is he going? Oh, watching TV. Okay, what's going on? Now, Hanako-sama, I would first like to ask you... Fucking Saka scums everywhere. Hmm. Hey, I was listening to that. Shut up. Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? You heard me. Let it go, Takamura. <laughs> At least one of you's got some fucking sense. You'll just catch the reels when you get home. That's all, man. Calm down. All right. Uh, we shouldn't Last draw thing attention. Last we want to do is to draw attention. attention. I'm sorry. A stupid the reflex. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. I'll get back to you. I need time to plan organize you stand to gain much if you help me all i ask is that you do not leave the city leave why would i leave need help best chance i'll find the right person here someone other than arasaka specialist there's no one no alternative <laughs> actually we just talked about some Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. <laughs> I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Interesting. Interesting. Um, Why are you looking for that? Hellman? He was the one to alert Saburo-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats will squeal when hanging by their tails. For several mm -hmm. days, 
I collected the information. All leads point to one place. The club called the Afterlife. Oh, I've been there. I was quickly dismissed by the queen of fixers there. Rogue. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> mm. She take you for a suit? No. She saw me as Saburo Sama's killer. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. Dolma is choosy, expensive, and rude. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she will not manage to now. Honor among thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes, I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. Your noble Arasaka would agree, I'm sure. <laughs> the Parker woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Helma, whoever. I must see some friends, call in some favors. When my people right. in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Sounds good. Yeah. Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arsaka is still a despotic machine, and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. Mm. You know, you got some nerve. First you had to kill me, now you want to be my pal. Make like nothing happened. You know you don't got to speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want? <laughs> and I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Oh, don't want too you funny. dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dick wipe. Hey. Wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back, looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. All right. Uh... You're the ghost of Chris's past, asshole. Any friends you had are either dead, or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know Rogue. What do I say to her? Got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's <laughs> heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Oh, Don't funny. need convincing. Seeing your memories, gross. Rogel danced any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us. Alright, so that's it ladies and gentlemen. That's the end of this episode. Uh, so next episode we're going to try to uh, get into a little bit more action I think. Uh, it's a lot of story that we're hitting in here and a lot of stuff that's going on. Do not fucking touch me! Well, you're the one that ran into me, so I hope you like the video, everybody. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.